In the previous chapters, we talked about statistic inferences about population means, population proportions, difference between two population means, and difference between two population proportions. In this chapter, we're going to discuss the inference about population variances. First of all, let's look at the sampling distribution of m minus 1 times s squared divided by sigma squared. In this case, s squared is nothing but the sample variance, and sigma squared is the variance of the population. Whenever a simple random sample of size n is selected from a normal population, the sampling distribution of m minus 1 times s squared divided by sigma squared has a chi-square distribution with m minus 1 degrees of freedom. Based on this sampling distribution, we can then conduct confidence interval as well as hypothesis testing. Here's the interval estimation for a population variance. Given sample size n and significance level alpha, we can calculate two critical values from chi-square distribution. Here, I want to remind you that in different software packages, chi-square functions might not be defined in exactly the same way. Uh, in using sci-fi stats package, it turns out that the lower bound of this interval estimation will be given by m minus 1 s squared divided by chi square value associated with 1 minus alpha over 2. And the upper bound will be given by m minus 1 s squared divided by the critical chi squared value at alpha over 2. As far as the hypothesis test is concerned, there are once again three different forms. No matter which form it is, we are going to calculate the test statistic the same way. The chi-square test statistic is given by m minus 1 s squared divided by sigma 0 squared. And sigma 0 squared is nothing but the hypothesized variance of the population. And once again, the chi-square has a chi-square distribution with m minus 1 degrees of freedom. Let's take a look at one example. The variance in drug weights is critical in the pharmaceutical industry. For a specific drug with weights measured in grams, a sample of 18 units provided a sample variance of s squared being 0.36. Construct a 90% confidence interval estimate of the population variance for the weight of this drug, and then Construct a 90% confidence interval estimate of the population standard deviation. First of all, let's import chi square distribution from SciPy stats package. Next, I'm going to collect information from the problem. The sample variance is 0.36, sample size is 18, and significance level alpha is 0.1. Now, let's compute the upper and lower bounds of the 90% confidence interval for the population variance. The first line of code determines the upper bound of this confidence interval for variance. I want to point out over here, I caught the inverse city function of chi-square distribution from sine pi, and take a look at the value I plugging over here. I use alpha over 2 instead of 1 minus alpha over 2 indicated by uh, my PowerPoint slide. And this is simply because the way uh, chi-square distributions are defined in sine pi. This term gives us the uh, critical value of chi-square, the probability for a random variable less than or equal to this critical value is alpha over 2. Alternatively, when we are calculating the lower bound, the denominator is given by the inverse city function of chi-square, but the probability is 1 minus alpha over 2 instead of alpha over 2. 
And this term gives us a larger value than the earlier one, but because the chi-square value is in the denominator, as a result, the first line of code gives us the upper bound, the second line of code gives us the lower bound. Let's take a look. All right, the 90% confidence interval for the population variance is between 0.22 and 0.71. With this, we can find out about the 90% confidence interval for population standard deviation easily. All I'm going to do is to take a square root of the lower and upper bound of confidence interval for variance. Let's see. The lower bound will be about 0.47 grams, and the upper bound will be 0.84 grams. That is to say, we are 90% confident that the population standard deviation will be between 0.47 and 0.54. Next, let's expand our example by taking into consideration hypothesis testing. Suppose we would like to test whether the variance of the weights of the drug is less than 0.5, we have the following hypothesis. The null hypothesis would be that population variance is greater than or equal to 0.5, and the alternative hypothesis is that the variance is less than 0.5. In this test, we are going to calculate the p-value as follows. Recall that the test statistic is given by m minus 1 times the sample variance divided by the hypothesized population variance, in this case 0.5, and the degree of freedom is sample size minus 1. Let's take a look at the uh, p-value. The p-value is 21.46%. Recall that the significance level R is 10%. As a result, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the population variance is greater than or equal to 